Assalamualaikum and good day boys and girls. Hi, I am Anis Shamila binti Abdul Salam from Sekolah Kebangsaan Gombak Setia. With me today is Mr. Amril Nurman bin Lokman, our sign language interpreter from SKPK Jalan Peel. How are you today? I hope you are in good health. The topic for our lesson today is time. By the end of the lesson, you will be able to first state the relationship between days with hours and hours with minutes. And second, solve problems involving daily life situations. Make sure you have your textbook, notebook and stationery with you. Boys and girls, look at this slide. These are faces of a clock. Previously, you have learned that one graduation equals one minute. Five, ten, fifteen, twenty, twenty-five, thirty, thirty-five, forty, forty-five, fifty, fifty-five, sixty. There are sixty graduations on the clock face. So there are sixty minutes on the clock face. The minute hand moves one complete circle clockwise of sixty minutes. Five minutes, ten minutes. 15 minutes, 20 minutes, 25 minutes, 30 minutes, 35 minutes, 40 minutes, 45 minutes, 50 minutes, 55 minutes, 60 minutes. Therefore, 60 minutes equals 1 hour or one hour equals 60 minutes. Let's take a look at the slide again. When the hour hand moves from three to four, it is one hour. Now, do you know how many hours there are in a day? One complete circle of the hour hand is 12 hours. One hour. Two hours. Three hours. Four hours, five hours, six hours, seven hours, eight hours. Nine hours. Ten hours. Eleven hours. Twelve hours. The hour hand moves two complete circles in a day from twelve midnight to twelve noon is 12 hours. 
and from 12 noon to 12 midnight is another 12 hours. 12 hours plus 12 hours equals 24 hours. So there are 24 hours in a day or one day equals 24 hours. Now you have learned the relationship between days with hours and hours with minutes. Let's try to solve these problems. Look at this picture. It shows a banner for an art and music class. This class is held every Saturday from 3 to 4 o'clock in the afternoon. How long will the little ones be in this class every Saturday? The minute hand moves one complete circle of 60 minutes. 60 minutes equals one hour. When the hour hand moves from three to four, it is one hour. So they will be in the art and music class for one hour every Saturday. Now, Let's solve the second problem. The clock shows the start of a poetry recitation competition. The competition is carried out for an hour. Now, boys and girls, let us answer the questions one by one. Let us state in words the time when the competition starts. How do we read the time on the clock face? Look at the hour hand. The hour hand points to number 2, while the minute hand points to number 12. So, the time shown on the clock face is 2 o'clock. So, the correct Answer when the competition starts is 2 o'clock. The correct way to write the time in words is T W O O apostrophe C L O C K. 2 o'clock. Now Let's go on to our next question. At what time will the competition end? It states that the competition is carried out for an hour or one hour. One hour is a complete circle of the minute hand. The hour hand moves from number 2 to number 3. So, the competition ends at 3 o'clock. But, you need to write the answer correctly. The question wants you to write the answer in numerals. Therefore, the answer is the competition ends at 3 o'clock. Remember, you have to write 3 in numerals, not in words. Do you want to solve another problem? How about this question? 
Zafira participates in a colouring competition which takes one hour. How many minutes does the competition take? Well, you have learned earlier that one hour is the minute hand moves one complete circle of 60 minutes. Therefore, 60 minutes equals one hour. Or, one hour equals 60 minutes. Let us carry out some activities to help you remember all that you have learned about time. How to read time, how to write time in words or in numerals, and the relationship between days with hours and hours with minutes. Look at this situation. Year 2 pupils are at the Aquaria KLCC. They enter at a quarter past three in the afternoon. Write the time in numerals. A quarter of an hour equals 15 minutes. A quarter past three means 15 minutes past three o'clock. A quarter past three means 15 minutes past three o'clock. Based on the situation, a group of year two pupils enters Aquaria KLCC at 15 minutes past three in the afternoon. For the answer, you will need to write time in numerals like this. 3.15 in the afternoon. Finally, let us try to answer the last question. Linda and Ayman play a game of chess every day at 4 in the afternoon. When it ends, the hour hand points to number five. How long do they play chess every day? Write the time in numerals. When the hour hand moves from four to five, It is one hour. One hour equals 60 minutes. So, Linda and Ayman play chess for one hour or 60 minutes every day. Now, you have to write the time in numerals correctly. Five zero zero in the afternoon well boys and girls did you have fun during the lesson let's recall what you have learned at the end of this lesson you have learned to first state the relationship between days with hours and hours with minutes. And second, solve problems involving daily life situations. That's all for today. See you again in the next lesson. Bye.